what's going on max here and today we got a very special deck review for you guys deck review i'm gonna keep this one short sharp and concise because i know deck reviews can get a little boring but today we're gonna be looking at the very special chris ramsey playing cards otherwise known as the first playing cards v2 this is the second edition of his first playing cards owned by him this is his own release they look tasty um big fan of the black so without any further ado let's just uh jump right into it all right so taking a look at the first playing cards uh the first thing you see on these guys is the big first on the front with the gold seal across the whole box very minimalistic design um he has the matte black color on this box here it's a very uh it's a grippy texture it's not smooth um that's that matte feel that you get with the box and then on the bottom um you can see first playing card company by chris ramsey himself very exciting once you pop listen to that pop pop the pull tab the next thing you see is that little chris ramsey logo right on the pull tab there so that's a pretty cool feature my favorite part probably about this whole entire deck is once you pop these bad boys open not e not the cards no it's the seal inside so this chris ramsey v2 is just as the v1 featured a inside the tuck box foil that looks so nice has a great shimmer and it continues throughout the whole entire uh, tuck box on the inside there so the back design features the chris ramsey logo pattern repeated over and over again this version of the v2s comparison to the v1s now has a black back with a gold foil and the gold and the border is a gold foil stamp with a first in the upper left corners that continue and break the borders, which gives the deck that nice spread look to it that um, Chris was really going for. And I think he executed this perfectly. It really just makes you wanna just spread the deck when you see that. And the one thing that really draws your eye into the back of these playing cards is the stroke around the Chris Ramsey logo. Uh, the white stroke on the black background looks really nice. The V2s are my favorite over the V1s. I love the, the black and gold. Moving on to the faces of the cards. They are standard pips and indices. The ace of spades looking here. Um, Chris in one of his videos mentioned that this is the first ace of spades ever or first playing cards ever to ever have a foil stamped on the front of the playing cards which i thought was really cool and really unique he stamps that first on the ace giving it that minimalistic design um, just a standard spade right in the middle ace of spades in the middle with that foil stamp so it really just gives that minimalistic clean looking design that chris ramsey is known for with his uh, style throughout his YouTube channel. This deck features two identical jokers. This can be used for a lot of magic performances. Works to Chris's style. I know he has some performances. And also it's a nice feature because it gives you a duplicate in the deck without having to dupe another card. Moving on to another feature of this deck, uh, one of the ad cards, you could call it is a snake. Uh, I think this is a little callback to the Chris Ramsey logo. If you can look closely on the Chris Ramsey logo, um, he has a snake that creates the letters of the R. I like that little uh, simplistic design, just a cool little snake. I don't know who did the illustration. It is very well done. Oh, I forgot to mention on the Jokers as well. The Jokers are also foil stamped with the first. And on the V1s, there was no foil stamp on the jokers it was just chris ramsey's logo in gray and going off that the gray that was used in the jokers were also used for the faces but in this deck the court cards are more standard and less faded than the v1s the v1s had a more faded look to them and the v2s these ones these guys feature full color um some darker some darker reds darker grays and darker blacks and some dark gold on there as well. There's a look at the kings. The kings, they all look really nice. Um, like I said, standard faces on all these guys. King of Hearts also features a reveal 
on it. So that's a cool little feature of this deck you can use. The queens are all standard as well. No reveals on the queens, but they do look beautiful with those gold and black colors with a little gray added in there. And the jacks are the same standard faces and standard hips. Yeah, guys. That's just a little overview of the deck. I didn't wanna take up too much time covering all this stuff. Just wanted you guys to get a good look at this deck. I know these cards sold out in about a few hours, so can't pick these cards up anymore unless you pick them up on eBay. I was lucky enough to pick up one pack for myself. Without talking any longer, let's just uh, take these guys out for a test ride. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tasty B-roll in the review. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming, more reaction, deck reviews, tutorials, and performances. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe if you haven't already, if you don't wanna miss out. Thank you for all the support you guys give me. Comment like below, <laughs> and we will catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. There's these people right outside the door, and uh, I just did my poo-poo-poo, and they're probably like, what the is going on in there? <laughs>